Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so today <laughs> I'm just laughing because I can't believe what I found. And I want to know if you see it too. Okay? Um, and I would like for other people <laughs> to go on Google Earth and see if they see the same thing. Okay, I'm going to make this video quick. Actually, I have some pictures I want to pull up to in this video, but uh, let's make this quick. So here we are again at Trinidad, Scotland Bay. Okay, and this is the, I did not discover her. I did not discover her. I only discovered the pyramid that she's looking at. And then my viewers were the ones who discovered her. But inside of her face is another face. And here it is. But that's not what we're here for today. Guys, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so we're back at Scotland Bay, right? That's her. That's her. You can see her as clear as day. And can you see him? Can anyone see him? Etched out in the side of a wall. Can anyone see him? Let's turn this a little bit more. Let's turn it the other way. In the side of the mountain. Can you see him? Let's zoom in. Can you see him? Can you see him? Let me show you something. What I did. I mean, my rendering of, I kind of illustrated the outline of what I found. And it kind of sucks because I didn't do it the right way. But I think you'll get an idea of what I'm trying to show you. That's it. Can you see him? And I'm going to show you. This is him. Right? Let's close this out for now. This is this. It's this area, right? Look at this. Let's zoom in. And this is on the side of a wall. Side of a mountain, not a wall, sorry. Can you see him? Can you see the second person? This looks like a king. This is his earring hanging from his ear. Okay? This is his nose. This is his crown. This is his neck. Okay? And this also looks like the face of a woman. This is this. And this looks like someone looking through a telescope. Ironically enough, I said, where did I see a photo, an, an image, not a photo, but an image of this before? And next to him looks like two creatures holding him up. And this is the Mayan inscription of a Mayan looking through a telescope. And this is one of the Mayan observatories. Okay? This is what it really looks like. And of course, he's sitting on something and he's looking through a telescope. 
And what's interesting is that he looks like he's standing on something with two people on either side. And he's looking through, he's literally like this, like you can see his arm is bent and he's looking at something like this. And this, I've been trying to find this headdress, right? And what I came up with was this. this and then there's someone here as well looking up and looking through something and that's where I got this so I out this image here is where I literally sat down and outlined it. You can see his nose. You can see this, uh, I don't know what this is, like a some kind of horn protrusion. This is the headdress. This is the neck. This is the earring. This is the person standing on something. This, this is a person here holding them up. And they're looking through a telescope here at something. And this is another person here looking through something as well. And what I find interesting, and what I find interesting is that I was scanning all the imagery around here, all the shadows, okay, and nothing, nothing. I, I examined it thoroughly. Maybe you guys can see something. So here we have this woman who's facing this pyramid. Now we have this king and these people on the side of a mountain, right? And what's interesting is that if you follow him, what do you come across? Look at this. She is facing this direction and this pyramid is in this direction. This king and his stargazers, and what's interesting, look at this, even though I don't follow Christianity, watch this. Listen to this. This is why I find it really interesting. Really, really interesting. Stargazers. Daniel chapter 2. Astrologers and magicians, they all had stargazers. All of them. Nebuchadnezzar asked his astrologers. They all had, so I find it so ironic that on the side of a mountain, look at this, you can still see him. On the side of a mountain, etched into the side of a mountain, is a king. And next to the king is a stargazer. He has some kind of crown on his head. And his hand is bent like this because he's holding a telescope. You can see it. And then he's another one. He's sitting on something. But he's also looking through something. And he kind of looks... He kind of looks like... 
like this. Not this one. Just open up another one. What's going on? I'm using it's, it's taking forever. So. It's taking forever. Okay, so we set the point. Perfect, this one. This one is perfect. It's going in the opposite direction. It's perfect. Look. 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 I'm pull out a little bit. And he is sitting on something. And he's looking up as well. This one is sitting on something, you can see it. And he's looking up as well. This one is standing on something with these two creatures holding him up and he's looking through a telescope. And look at this. So this is the king. This is the king, you can tell from the headdress, all right? This is his gold earring. And watch this, because they all had cities of gold, right? And look at where he's facing. Da, 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 de, 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 de. Boom. Do you see that? Look. Look at where he's facing. Do you see this? Look at this. Do you want to see what this is? Let's zoom in. Can you see it? It is a little bit dark, okay? Let's go to the scene. Are you ready? Can you see it? Boom, boom. Okay. Okay, so we were about right here, right? There he is. There he is. Looking. Let's turn this. Let's turn this this way. And 
that's not all I want to show you. That's not all I want to show you. That's the one. And this is all on the side of a mountain, like a cliff, like literally. This is like all etched into the side of a mountain. So that's two. So we found this woman's face. You guys found that. Next up, pyramid. Then you find, then I find this king with stargazers looking at a pyramid on the edge of a cliff. But it gets better. It gets better. I promise you, it gets better. Are you ready for this one? Can you see it? Can you see them? All right, let's go in. What does this look like? Do you know what this looks like? Let's zoom in. Do you know what this looks like? Look at this. I saw this and I said, why does this look familiar? And I searched and searched and searched until I finally figured it out. Quetzalcoatl, the serpent god, the serpent king. This is a rendition of Quetzalcoatl. This is the actual depiction of Quetzalcoatl. Look at this. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. And then look, look. And he's wearing it on his head. Then I said, I said, wait, he's holding something in his hand. He's holding something in his hand. And it looked like he's holding this wheel, like with two arms. You know, and then, doesn't that, doesn't that, Remind you of this, and this is all on the side of a mountain, you know. This is all of them are etched into the side of a mountain, and I thought they were literally like flat 2D until I hit them from another angle, and I was like, these are not 2D impressions. This is 3D, and what's happening is that the shadows, whatever's under there, is creating, the trees that grew around it, is creating a shadow of what's, whatever is under there. Because this, these are shadows here, but it's not making out any noticeable objects that you and I would recognize. And then there's this one. This is literally, this is the apex of a mountain chain. This is the peak. And this is like the valley, okay? You see here, this is the valley. Look, this is a road that they built into the mountain in the valley. Ironically enough, they stopped it. I'm like, do these people realize that these things are here? Because they stopped this road, like, <laughs> you can make this stuff up, like miles before you get to these giant megaliths. And I don't know if you'll be able to see them, you know, from the, from the valley, from the valley floor. But this is the peak of a mountain, and this is the valley, okay? This thing stops from here and goes all the way up to the peak. These things are huge. These are actual sides of mountains. Can you see a face? And I took a look at this and I said, this is African. This is not Mesoamerican. This is not Mayan, it's not Incan, it's not Aztec, it's not any of the North American tribes, it's not surely not any of it. The reason why I say that is because when I look at this, this skirt, and this mask, this is what this reminds me of. Thank you.
Yes. You see, they wore this traditional white powder, and it tells me these people knew what they were doing. They knew, they knew that their carvings would produce their carvings, and if trees grew above it, the way they carved whatever they carved out, they knew it would produce a shadow. And at certain times, when the sun hits, the shadow would produce an image. And the reason why I say this is because people are finding these, these, these megaliths in stone. And in South Africa, there's this, this African chairman by the name of Fredo Mutua. He was saying that there are these mountain peaks that look exactly like the different peoples of planet Earth. And I find that this, he bears an uncanny resemblance. Okay, this, this is, aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. To this. That face painting, you see? Or even this. This is Papua New Guinea. And then it's the same, same, same style of dress. And, and he has a headdress on. Look. He had this head. He has this headdress on, this massive face painting. You see his neck, his body, and then this is his waist. But he wore. He wears his signature. If you look, you can see this signature skirt. And there's people. There's a group of people, but I can't remember where they wear this. This style of um. I think it's um. I think I know who it is. Ashanti um. I think it's the Ashanti. No. I've seen this skirt before. It's like it's it's a two-part skirt. It's a short one and there's a specific dance they do with it. And then there's a long one, but it's one skirt. It's not Ashanti. It's probably um we try uh we try evil. It might be Raphael. It may not be Raphael. It might even be. Let me try South Africa. No, South Africa, their skirts are short. Uh-huh. This kind of looks like it. This is something like it. Let's see who this is. This is West Africa. This is Igbo. Igbo. Yep. This is something like it. But it's short. There's a part that's short. And then underneath it, there's a part that's long. And this is all short. This is Igbo. Um, let me see. I don't remember where I saw them. Um, look at Igbo. I have to look at South Africa. be Congo. Not that, not that. And it's just taking forever because I have this thing opened. Something like this. This is it. 
this is exactly it this is it this is this is exactly what I was looking for look at this look at this look at this you see the chest you see here the short part I mean and then you see the long skirt here all of this is light and shadow and you have to wonder you have to wonder did these people know what they were doing this is Quetzalcoatl this I looked at this I said nope I said this is a hundred percent African you could say Papua New Guinea okay because the same they wear the same face paint and the same headdress right but they don't wear skirts like this okay that's the giveaway I said they don't wear these type of and you know some would say oh no maybe it's just light and shadow okay but there's light and shadow here and it doesn't form a distinguishable object it doesn't form an object that you can distinguish and say oh that's this that's this and look at something in, I want to show you something interesting about this look at this when you turn to this you see that impression you see you see it's not flat on the earth it's literally sunken into the ground and then the trees is growing up and it's forming this impression of what this is see all of this this is sunken So it's sunken into the ground. You see here as well. And then the trees grew all around it and inside of it. And it captured the impression of what this thing is. You see that? Same thing for here. Look at this. Same thing. See? It's sunken. Sunken. The only thing with this is that I can't seem to find a matching pyramid. And the only thing I can say is, okay, so this is, let's see, let's move this up here, okay. He's looking in this direction, so let's pull out here. He is looking in this direction, and the NOAA blurred out this whole thing. And he is looking in this direction. And this whole thing is blurred out. So I can't go and look. You see, it's not 3D. And it's all blocked out. So I can't go and, and look. But in this immediate area, I look. There's nothing. Unless you can find something. So this. Look at this. Look at this. And this appears to be a staff. I mean, I think. So fascinating. Look at this. Cuba cloth, ceremonial Rafa palm. That's the exact impression that I got. The exact same impression. <sighs> anyway, okay, so those are the three things that I found. Okay. This is blurred out, so I couldn't go check. Couldn't go snooping around this area. Let's look at it again. Boom. You see it? You see the face? It looks like a mask. Then the body. Then this skirt. The feet. And then this one. This looks like Quetzalcoatl. I mean, it, it, this is Quetzalcoatl. Look at that. There it is. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. You could even see the head of this thing. This thing is incredible. Look at this. Look at these spikes, 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 spikes. Right? And then we went over here. And 
and in the side of the mountain. Look at this. It came in the stargazers. And then here is the queen next to the pyramid. That's what I found. Tell me what you think. Oh, and this is what I did to illustrate the stargazer. Look at that. And then there's another one here. He's sitting down just like the image I showed you. He's sitting down and he's looking up into something. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, I don't know what's going on with this thing. It's one at a time. Okay, and I'm done. Look at this. Do you see him? You see him? He's sitting on something and he's looking up. <laughs> okay, I should do it in this. I should do it this way. Look. Look. I didn't outline this one because I thought it was nothing. But then I realized this is a part of this. He's sitting on something and he's holding the reins of something. Look, he's sitting on this thing. Look, he's sitting on this thing. And he's looking into something like him. Look. And he's a stargazer. And look at this. What's the moral of the story? The moral of the story is this. History is a lie. What we've been taught are lies. The God that people believe is the only God, that's a lie. Because we are seen prior to this God that people were in contact all over this planet and given technology all over this planet. This is a tiny island in the Caribbean. Tiny island in the Caribbean. Let me show you where this island is with regards to Central America. It's eight miles off the coast of South America. Okay. And where we are in relation to all these things. Okay, this is taking too long. I don't feel like waiting 10 years to get this thing pulled up. I think it's because of this um, recorder. I'll do that next time. You know. Um, and I don't feel like waiting 10 years. But anyway, think, think, think. That's the moral of the story. Think.